Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 18. Thoughts? This episode is called Frenemy of My Enemy. So, another episode I love. Uh, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I'm planning to do so. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. Probably going to be talking fast for the entirety of this video, not only the start, because my back is killing me, but I'm too stubborn to not make a video. So, yeah, we open on Fitz running, and I'm allowed to say this because I look the same. He looks like he doesn't usually run very much. You can very, it's very much like lab geek energy in the, in the run, and yeah, very much same. And I like that, you know, he's immediately like, oh, Mike, you got an upgrade. Where did you get an upgrade? Like, he, he wants to know the, the, you know, he wants to geek out about that. And we learned that Ethan was, in fact, caught, and he died 37 hours into experimenting. Yikes. So, yeah, they're very much still as, yeah, when we're, you know, we're told this episode that Dr. List might actually be even more obsessed with, you know, powered people than Whitehall was. And... Let's see... Yeah, uh, good scene between Sky and Lincoln, and love the cut. Yeah, you hit me to the sparring where, you know, there is actual hitting. And, let's see. I like all that, that you know, Grant tries to, to hide a lot of weapons to get, you know, yeah, he because he didn't know that Mike would be there. I think so. You know, he he was hoping that they would just frisk him and miss at least one of them. It was very much like you know that bit in Last Action Hero, and I feel like there was also a Chuck Norris thing where he's just dropping so many guns that by the end he's like ankle deep in hidden guns, previously hidden guns, and. I quite like that near the end of the episode, uh, you know, both on the feed, you know, yeah, on the feed, Simmons and May see, you know, Coulson with Grant and Sky or Daisy, I guess she is going to start going by now, uh, you know, also sees the, the two of them together, so there's, I can imagine that's, you know... Some of these people are going to think that Coulson is eagerly working with Grant rather than reluctantly. And let's see. Yeah, um, Simmons is still a bad liar. Tell the truth about what exactly? And. Yeah, and, you know, May does make a good point. You know, Coulson lied to them, and she wants to know why. Very cool to see Sunil Bakshi again. And very clever, because, yeah, like, we, the audience, know he's been brainwashed, but that's not, you know, yeah, Coulson and they think, you know, yeah, don't realize that Bakshi is working for Grant rather than, oh, he's a guy that Grant knows that works for Hydra, and uh, yeah. And yes, so Daisy says she's going with, uh, you know, um, Cal. And I quite appreciate, like, I really like when Jai Ying says, you know, the people, the people that Cal might hurt if they just leave him like a puppy, which is cruel to both him and the puppy. You know, yeah, those are not Zhang Ying's concern. And, you know, we know that she's capable of, you know, empathy, of being a good person. But, you know, I mentioned earlier, we, you know, we got a bit of a cult vibe off them. And, yeah, it, you know, they are very... This, this isolated from the rest of society kind of group. 
And, yeah, you know, she is basically thinking, you know, if I worry about what happens outside of the afterlife, you know, I'm going to, that's going to end up dragging me and the others out of the afterlife into the rest of society. And she, you know, she has the scars to prove that she's been there. That was not good. And... Yeah, Fitz outright attacks Grant on the, the Quinjet, which you can really understand. And Coulson alters the deal on Grant. Pray he doesn't alter it any further. Let's see. Yeah, gr great when everyone's pointing guns at each other and... They do actually manage to, to calm things back down because nobody wins by the, the gun. Yeah. And yeah, they talk about quantum entanglement, which I'm interested to see where that goes. And yeah, so Daisy chooses, you know, she's already been called Daisy before, but now she sees that Cal's last name used to be Johnson, so... Daisy Johnson. And yeah, she's talking trying to talk Cal into letting letting go and and allowing things to, yeah. Great scene and Lincoln puts his foot in it as he is wont to do. That I I feel like that is his second superpower. You know, one 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 of these episodes they're going to reveal you know, he he excels, he has a supernatural, superhuman ability to really, like, step into a situation and, like, butt into a discussion when the people really don't want him to. I'm kidding. It's, it's characterization, and I'm not opposed to it. I, I appreciate that he's not just this blandly, you know, nothing of a character. And Hydra attack, very, very tense, very cool. Quite liked Lincoln and Mike fighting, because it is this thing of, I mean, yeah, you know, obviously it takes more than, I mean, he 100% killed that Hydra dude. Like, he, he zaps right where the heart is for just long enough. There's no way that dude survived, which, boy, I hope he knew. Oh, this is, this is one of the terrorists, and not just like, oh, well... He's not one of us, I guess. That's, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, you know, he, he thinks that he can stop Mike's heart as well, but, you know, Mike runs on electricity. Like a choo-choo train. Nobody's gonna get that reference. Anyway, and yeah, you know, takes a bit longer, takes a lot out of both of them. And yeah, Bakshi betrays Peterson it's only a flesh wound. And we end on Colson seemingly surrendering to Mac and Bobby. And yeah, I am um, I'm I'm certain there's a plan there. And let's see. Yes, so I'm to be trivia for this episode. This episode, along with the next one, takes place before the events of Avengers 2. The title is a play on the phrase, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, meaning that people can set aside their differences and work together when they are fighting a common enemy. In this case, the enemy is Hydra, the frenemy is Ward, since he used to be Hydra, but is now at odds with them. And... Let's see... Yeah, um, I will try to do an episode tomorrow. We will, we shall see. If not, next episode should be Saturday. Don't call Mike a cyborg. He's not a cyborg. He's a shield agent with rockets in his arm. <laughs>